Did you know that you can embed interactive Figma files and prototypes directly into Notion? Let me show you how. So first, let's set up our file in Figma and set the correct permissions and sharing settings. I have a card design here with a simple card and a background and some text and a button. We can share this file to Notion. So let's click the share button to take a look at our permission options. You can have anyone with a link view, edit, or view the prototype only. I'm going to select can view so that they can't edit the file, but they can take a look at it. Then I'm going to make sure that I've selected link to selected frame so that it's only going to embed this one frame. Now I'm going to click copy link and then we're going to jump into Notion. So before we are able to paste this link into Notion, Notion might ask us to allow access to Figma. So go ahead and do that and then you can open your Notion app. So here we are inside of our beautiful Notion portfolio templates that you can get yourself in the description below. And we're going to open up one of our custom case studies and show you how we embed this Figma file. I'm going to quickly create two columns here, one for a Figma file example, and then one for the prototype. And then starting with the link that we copied earlier, I'm going to paste this here. And once you do that, you'll see a context menu with three options. I'm going to start with paste as preview. And just like that, you now have your Figma file embedded here into Notion. And you can click on this three dots at the bottom to reload the preview to make sure that there are no new changes that happened inside of Figma. You can also click the expand button here to see a full screen version of the file. And Notion also recently added a shortcut directly into Notion so that you can use the slash shortcut command and then start typing in Figma and you'll see a field come in for you to paste that link in there to the embed. So the other way that you can embed this is as a mention. So let's say that I wanted to add it just in line with the text here. I can put my cursor right here, paste the link again, and then this time select paste as mention. And that's just gonna put a nice little text-based link with a hover preview of that file. Back over in Figma, I'm going to duplicate this for my prototype and create another version with a button that has a fill color. Then to create a hover interaction for this, we're going to create a prototype. So I'm going to select the first button in the first frame here, and then I'm going to go over to the prototype tab. From there, I'm going to add our first interaction and I want to select while hovering here. And then I'm just gonna make sure it navigates to the next frame and give it a smooth dissolve. Now you can select the play button from the top right, or you can click on the flow and click the play button on the actual frame to preview our hover interaction. And this time we're gonna click on the share prototype button. And that's going to come up again. We're going to set the permissions. And for this one, I'm going to have them only able to view the prototype. So I'm going to select that. And then again, we're going to copy link here, but this is a different link than the file. This is a link to the interactive prototype back over to our notion page. We're going to try pasting that link again. But when you paste it the same way that we did the file link, what I've noticed is that you get this really strange preview. It shows a bunch of frames from your prototype, but you can't actually interact with any of them. So what we're going to do is delete that and we're going to use the embed command. So type in slash embed. And when that window comes up, paste your prototype link in there. And now you'll see this window looks a little bit different. You can resize it and drag it here, but now you see the prototype frame. And when we hover over this button, there it is. We can interact with this prototype inside of Notion. And you can set the resize option so that it fits nicely in the column or the space that you have for it inside of Notion. You can switch between flows, everything that you can do inside of the prototype. In Figma, you can now do inside of Notion. How brilliant is that? There are some more cool things that I've figured out that you can do with Notion and Figma. So stay tuned to the next video.